Uh, the next question is an e-commerce question. What's involved for funeral homes offering e-commerce on their websites, like arranging services and offering merchandise? So for the technical mechanics uh, of doing that, uh, you're going to need a shopping cart software on your website, uh, whether that's kind of plugged into your existing site or maybe a shopping cart add-on. Uh, so that's the, that's the website part of it. Then, then what you need is a merchant account and that's where the transaction actually happens. And you probably have merchant accounts already for your credit card processing that you do at the funeral home. But you need to have an online merchant account that will do online credit card orders. And then third, you would need a, um, a gateway, which is a secured, basically a secured tunnel between the two. So the transaction happens at the shopping cart. It's, in a, it's in a, on a secured page. And then that information trans gets transmitted through the gateway to the merchant account. Um, the credit card gets uh, approved or declined. If it's approved, then that money goes, um, you know, it stays in your merchant account and eventually gets transferred to your main banking account. Um, now, this setup would give you an online store where visitors could buy items a la carte. Uh, to create the arrangement process, uh, you'd need some custom coding to accomplish that that process. So it just doesn't um, it just doesn't happen that you can get a kind of an out of the box um, solution. We make uh, cremation arrangement websites, and we walk people through a stepped process where the shopping cart is continually adding uh, to the total, uh, and then it's giving the person different uh, options. So. Is there going to be a witness cremation or not? Uh, you know, if it is, then it, you know, then the cart ta ta tallies up an extra couple hundred dollars or whatever the client ha has asked. Where is the cremated remains going to be picked up? If it's at the funeral home, there's no cost. If it's, you know, to be uh, mailed out, then it's going to be fifty dollars or what have you. Um, and one thing just to note in our experience creating cremation arrangement websites is that. Um, Arranging a cremation is a lot easier than arranging a funeral service. The more detail that goes into creating a, into arranging uh, a funeral service, people just can't do it on, they, they have too many questions. Um, like it's not too often that someone comes into the funeral home and says, I want this, this, and this, and you don't answer any questions. You just kind of follow the process of what they're, of what they're asking. Most of the time, uh, there's going to be a lot of um, interaction because they're going to say, you know, they're going to ask a question and then you're going to maybe come up with another question. Oh, well, at that church, you know, we can't have the memorial tribute video there because the priest doesn't like it. Uh, we'll have to do that afterwards in the reception center, you know, things like that. But for a, for a cremation, um, it's a little more cut and dry, the steps that they walk through. So that's just a note. Um, don't you know you can ex expect uh, cremation uh, cremations to be arranged online quite easily uh, as you get into the more details um, those people end up coming offline and either talking to you on the phone or coming into the into the funeral home.